So obviously, it is not news to anyone here that there has been a dramatic shift to push women away from having children. I mean, you guys know the headlines for all the pop psychology articles, you know, don't settle, a husband and kids will only slow you down, climb the corporate ladder, be a girl boss, that is what will fulfill you, you can't rely on anybody except yourself, don't get married, don't have kids, all of it. And that messaging was and still is literally everywhere, even though I do think that a change is starting to happen, and we've talked about that before. But in my mind, at least this is what I always say, I don't know if this is actually correct, but I see this as being like the 2016 Hillary Clinton, Sheryl Sandberg type of feminism. And I honestly blame Sheryl's book, Lean In, for a lot of women glamorizing the corporate world. But back to the point. As this ideology took hold of women, they had to find a solution for the fact that they were putting off having kids for the corporate world, for the benefit of their career. But later in life, they knew deep down somewhere that they might still desire a family, even though the media was telling them that they wouldn't. And in walked egg freezing to solve the problem. But has it really solved anything? Before we dive into this subject, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the comment section channel if you have not already, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our episodes. All right, so full disclosure, because I think that that's important, I am not morally against egg freezing. I know that it's worked wonders for a lot of women. I know for women who get very terminally sick and want to try and have kids later on, even after they're going through chemo, I know that it has been amazing for those purposes. However, the problem is that women are consistently sold lies to prop up this industry, this medical industry, and to benefit the corporate world. And these lies benefit everyone except the women themselves. So take this story, for example. This is a recent article from The Times that inspired this entire piece, and it's titled Fertility Clinics Pressuring Young Women to Freeze Their Eggs. Women in their 20s say that they are bombarded by social media adverts for a costly and grueling process most of them will never need. And then listen to this anecdote from the author. That was the close of my 11-year journey to try to become a mother ending ingloriously in my bathroom, staring hopelessly at a pregnancy test stick. My clinic was a successful one, but also large and impersonal. I'd never spoken to the nurse who recorded my results before, and my consultant didn't call. It's negative, I texted to my friends with a sad face emoji. They tried calling, but I didn't want to talk. I had nothing to say. I was devastated, empty, and angry. There are multiple reasons why IVF fails, but usually it's owing to a genetically abnormal embryo. If I had frozen my eggs in my mid-20s rather than in my mid-30s, my eggs would have had a much greater chance of being genetically sound. Advancements in IVF science are remarkable, but working out what went wrong when it's all over still seems shrouded in mystery. Factors such as the eggs of age at freezing in the medical history are critical, but the overall pregnancy success rate of about 30% using frozen eggs is giving women hope that their fertility can be put on ice until the time is right. And this is the important part. The problem is a 70% failure rate is a lot of failures. And we need to be honest about the reality. Egg freezing is not the holy grail. It's also expensive, typically about 5,000 pounds per cycle, which does not include the drugs or the annual storage fees. So there was a lot in there that was a personally heartbreaking story for this author. But I read this and my jaw was just on the floor because it really is positioned as this get out of jail free card that you really can pause time, that you can put your fertility on ice, like the author said, and everything will be fine. But it's not a guaranteed success or anything close to it. Like when I first saw that the success rate was 30%, I was shocked that anybody would put any kind of semblance of trust or hope into this process. But like that author said, by 36 years old, she had feared that this was her only option. The author also mentioned that if she had done it sooner at a younger age, she would have had a better chance, which brings us into an entirely new conversation because rather than seeing these less than positive results and the insane cost to even attempt this procedure and the morally questionable process as the whole, especially the marketing tactics, society and doctors are not waving the red or even the yellow flags to women. Instead, they are waving the green flag even harder for 20-somethings, as you saw in that headline from the Times, they are pressuring young women. And they say that this is because the success of an egg retrieval and a live birth after pregnancy goes down as the age of the woman goes up. So for those in their 30s, which is the age bracket of women that feel the most pressure to undergo this procedure, they're in the same bracket that this is less and less likely to actually help. Hence the rise in advertising to these 20-somethings, which is crazy because they are the ones who do not need this. They have their entire future ahead of them. And most young women who do this, especially at a younger age, actually never come back to use their eggs. The author wrote about this and she said, little more than a decade ago, freezing eggs was still an experimental technology reserved mainly for women with serious medical conditions affecting their fertility. Now as private clinics partner with influencers, young women report feeling bombarded by egg freezing content when they use Instagram or TikTok. And this has been fueled by a change in UK law made in July of 2022, which means that eggs can be stored for up to 55 years, up from the previous limit of 10 years, making it a realistic insurance policy for women in their 20s who are anxious about one day becoming a mother. So a few years ago, it wouldn't make sense for 
for a 22 year old like me to go freeze her eggs because I would have to use those eggs within 10 years. But now I could go freeze my eggs now and not come back to them until I was 45. I could literally put all of it on hold, even though by that time, there's no guarantee that they would actually be viable or that I could actually carry the pregnancy. So again, even if they're retrieving the eggs at a younger age, this costly and incredibly invasive insurance policy is not guaranteed to work. And yet they keep pushing it. Influencers are doing collaborations with fertility companies posting with their needles and their hormonal drugs that they have to inject themselves with for weeks leading up to this retrieval. And this isn't exactly the same, but this reminds me of it a lot. When I was in college, the advertising for egg donors was insane. I mean, it was like they were following me around. There were posters at UCLA. My Instagram was getting served ads 24 seven. Are you a tall brunette at a high achieving university? Would you like to donate your eggs? I mean, it was literally everywhere telling me that they would pay me $25,000 for one egg retrieval. And similar to this egg freezing advertising, it was flashy. They made it seem easy and empowering that you're putting yourself in control of your fertility. They're giving you control over your eggs so you can focus on your education and career and you can have babies whenever you want which is not always true. It's not normal. It is a completely unnatural thing that you're doing to your body, unlike Balance of Nature, which is very natural when you take your Balance of Nature supplements. I mean, imagine trying to eat 31 different fruits and vegetables every single day. It is time consuming, it's miserable. Even the best meal preppers would not be able to pull that off. But with Balance of Nature fruits and veggies, there has never been a more convenient dietary supplement to ensure that you are getting a wide variety of fruits and vegetables in your diet every single day. And the way this works is that Balance of Nature takes fruits and vegetables, they freeze dry them, and then they turn them into a powder and then put them into a capsule. That is literally all. There's no additives, there's no sugar, no bad stuff. It is literally just fruits and vegetables. And then all you do is take your supplements every day and your body knows what to do with them, of course, because they are whole fruits and vegetables. As somebody who's always on the go and often travels and doesn't always have time to meal prep, Balance of Nature makes it easy and convenient to make sure that I'm getting all of those important nutrients and ingredients in my daily routine. So go to balanceofnature.com, use promo code COOPER for 35% off your first order as a preferred customer, plus get a free bottle of fiber and spice. Again, that is balanceofnature.com, promo code COOPER. Now the article goes on saying, however, the sudden expansion of advertising has prompted concerns from MPs and fertility experts that exploitative clinics are selling women grueling medical process that most will never need. The whole process costs 7,000 pounds on average and requires women to inject hormones for two weeks to stimulate their ovaries. Eggs are then collected under sedation and put on ice, ready to be defrosted and used in IVF treatment in the future. Now, this article is from The Times, which is a UK publication, but in the US, this procedure costs an average of 10 to $15,000. And sometimes it doesn't work. And so if you don't collect enough viable eggs or you don't collect any eggs whatsoever, that's it. There's no money back guarantee. And often women will then try again. They'll go, okay, I'll dish out another $15,000 to try to get some eggs. And it's all for a 30% chance that you might be able to create an embryo and might be able to have a viable pregnancy years and years down the road. I mean, it's miserable. And they're not honest about any of this. I mean, it's such a far cry from something worth promoting and encouraging on social media. But of course, this industry is suddenly booming and there are no disclaimers. In another paragraph, this article notes that Dr. Catherine Hill of the Charity Fertility Network said that she was worried that seeing egg freezing everywhere was leading to unnecessary stress in women. If you are being bombarded with adverts for egg freezing, that is going to make you feel anxious about your fertility. It is a medical decision with long-term consequences and an expensive medical decision. It isn't necessary for everyone to do this. We should not be pushing women into a medical procedure with associated health risks. Completely agree, this is spot on, and yet that kind of nuanced take from a doctor isn't what makes them all of their money. And guys, like I mentioned earlier, the majority of women who freeze their eggs never return to use them. It is literally an unused insurance policy. They feed into the fear. They dish out tens of thousands of dollars. They go through awful medical pain and then they walk away never to use them. And of course, the part of this that I care about probably the most is that all of this is propped up and driven by this girl boss mentality that tells women that their biological clocks don't matter, that you can literally stop time so that you can do the right thing and focus on your career because that is what is gonna make you happy and that is what you're gonna care about at the end of your life. You know, focus on working for the man and smashing the patriarchy instead of finding a good man to settle down and start a family with. I mean, what a message. And I'm not being dramatic. That is literally what young women are fed. That is what I was fed all throughout high school, all throughout college. I mean, even companies like Facebook and LinkedIn have started offering to pay for their female employees to freeze their eggs. It's a perk just like having a free gym membership. And while some might see that as an amazing healthcare option, an amazing healthcare perk, a caring employer, I see this as companies desperate to keep women locked to their desks and in the workforce. Companies that are continuing on with this goal of selling lies to women that this will fulfill them. And it's gross. And of course, these are the same companies just a couple of years later that offered to pay to fly their female employees out of state to get abortions so they could just come back and go to work. It's mind boggling. It is so backwards. I mean, like what a time to be alive. What a time to be a woman. Like, are we actually happy about this? Should we be celebrating this as some kind of victory for women's rights? Or maybe we should recognize 
that as you screech about freedom and women's liberation and women's rights, as you go and freeze your eggs, you're actually just selling your soul to these companies that don't care about you, your health, or your future. This kind of advertising and this pressure is not a win for women. Women deserve the honest truth about their bodies, about their fertility, and about what will fulfill them. And they don't get any of that. Hey guys, Brett here. For more stories and videos just like that, make sure you subscribe to my show. See you next time.